What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I know, I know, I know. Chantal wasn't going to do any, any more health content. So what do you think she did? Couples vlog? Members only content? No, no. Chantal spent probably an hour and a half putting together a 12-minute dedication, Casey Kasem style, to three of her favorite reactors. And she says this is a problem she has. People on the internet, they just come for her. They get on her case about what she eats, how she looks. But fear not, everyone to her is a degenerate. I, I guess except the, except the person she gets all this information from. But she says, you know, most people come to her and say she puts all this information voluntarily online. So people have the right to respond. And Chantel says that's okay. Chantel, just real quickly, take your seatbelt off, okay? You're not taking any of us on a guilt trip. We're not going with you. And when you sit there and you say... Zombies, they share one brain cell watching this. I hate to break it to you. You don't have this high-class, extremely sophisticated Beezer army. In many cases, you are speaking to the same people. You're disrespecting your own audience. She then goes on to say that none of the criticism offered is valid. It's all just hate. It's all just self-projection. And she starts with the ABBA. She says that Yaba has a, quote, puffy, red, and fat face. And she says this is a, quote, clear indication of obesity. She asks, from a scientific standpoint, how this could happen if someone was eating 1,200 calories per day. I have no idea what Yaba eats. Don't care. Yaba doesn't come online talking about the books she's reading or the things she's trying or the way she's being successful. But Chantal says that the only way... This physique could be achieved is by, quote, raging and Taco Bell pizza. Hmm. Taco Bell pizza, Chantal. I, I recall you multiple times, multiple times saying you were done with Taco Bell. And one of the things you would get is that pizza. She refers to Yaba as being, quote, porky and claims she should not have a channel. She then plays a clip where Chantal ate the Halloween meal. And for those that don't know, this is when Chantal used a holiday to justify eating donuts and a meal she should not have had. And she says that the advice that she's given is always going to be from a, quote, fat hypocrite. She brings up Yaba's past or children and how she isn't the epitome of health herself. And that Yaba must have the same issue she does. So she shouldn't be giving advice. Chantal offers that while she has not been successful, because Yaba has not stepped on a scale or a treadmill, that her points are not valid. You have no idea about that, Chantal. She may not have done it online, but that's not what Yab is here to do. Chantal then projects she is being made fun of for being diabetic. Chantal, you quite literally mock your diabetes every day. Every day. Last night, salt, cream, sugar. In that video, three, yes, three donuts. Boxes of Snickers. Bags of chips. Listen, if you don't take your health seriously... If you don't take your condition seriously, don't expect anyone else to. We also see why Chantal can't be a reaction channel, because her joke here is that Yaba, behind the scenes, asks Chantal for all this yummy food. Chantal, has it ever dawned on you that not a single person, not a single person, has tried your recipes? Just last night, you posted the world's best creamy ramen with extra salt. And you woke up to exactly zero, zero people making that noodle meal. She then attempts to bring up Yaba's view count. She shows Amy's videos and she says that this is just a response. You know, Chantal, when you say you get six, seven, eight thousand views and they look pretty good compared to what Yaba gets. Remember, re remember, you are dependent on this income. She is not. So why are you pocket watching? It, it's comical. You say that you don't pay attention to it. You don't know your views. You don't know your income. You don't know what you make. But you know what reaction channels make. I mean, let's be fair. That's probably part of the core issue here. She goes on to patronize Yaba, proclaiming that Chantal eats poorly behind the scenes and lies about her dieting. She brings up, again, Yaba's wife in response to this and that Yaba needs to educate herself. She lacks the ability to understand that when Yaba talked about guntware, it was a mocking 
situation. Chantal, no one is over here wanting to start L.A. Gunt. L.L. Gunt. Tommy Hill Gunt. Guntani Versace. No one is making these things. They're using them as a joke. She then moves on to Shani, who just weeks ago she was fine with, super chatting away. Oh, hi, Shani. Hi, Rev. But now there's a problem because, you know, Shani's history is, quote, too much to go over. Yet she attempts to do so. She then says, you know, Shani can't stand. Shani can't wipe. And she sits around making excuses why she can't provide for her family. Chantal, Chantal, you do the very same things. Okay, no one is going to defend Shani in this situation. But listen, when your baseline is, look, I'm not as bad as Shani, what is that really saying about you? Chantal, you can talk about how anyone takes care of their children. The reality is, at this very moment, you can't take care of a cat and hamster. And that's why you have to live stream beside an empty pool. Shani's point is essentially that Chantal provides misinformation. She posts herself giving health advice or diet advice. And listen, I don't care who is saying it. That's a valid point, no matter where it's coming from. Chantal wants to come online. She wants to project she knows so much about weight loss, reclaiming her health. She offers plans. She offers books. She offers resources. As if she's leveraged all of them successfully. But the reality is, if you follow Chantal, you know she's never even went to a single course that has been offered by her physicians. Shani goes over all the poor choices she makes. And interestingly enough, Chantal owns up to it. Chantal, we see it. The junk halls, trying to pretend that weight loss chips exist. And of course, you know where she ends this, FFG. FFG is a moron. FFG is scared to show herself. She says the photos, they speak for themselves, and she wants new photos of FFG. She wants them emailed to her because FFG is greasy Uncle Bob, and no amount of Super Chats is going to fix that. You know what FFG did fix, Chantal? The last time you neglected a pet. She fixed the situation with BBJ. You know what else FFG is going to do? She's going to purchase a home. Based on the income she's made on this platform. And I know that when you look back and you say, well, I could have purchased a lot of things. But instead, I chose to purchase food. I chose to try to court someone that I'm no longer with. You know, that probably is something you've yet to truly reflect on. But it is the facts. So Chantal, you can sit here. You can be as mad as you want. You can be as angry and frustrated. You can try to self-justify. You can say, you know, sit and spin. But the reality is we know the last time you attempted this, you you got stuck. You, you needed Sala to come help you off. So I don't know if that's, you know, this power flex that you think it is. But it's interesting that that's the verbiage that you go with. But the reality is this again. Just more wasted time, Chantal. More time that could have been put towards you. Could have been put towards your audience members, your viewers, but instead you show us. You are obsessed with Girl World, if not more than anyone else. I'm going to leave you with your top comments from the last video. I appreciate each and every one of you watching this and you know I'll be back soon as I can with more commentary.